Hello and welcome to the PC Security Channel. Today, as you can see, we'll be testing Avast Free Antivirus, their latest version, which is in memory of Ian Quebec. I hope I said his name right. He was one of their software engineers or their build developers. So the important things that have changed in this version is that Avast have finally added a host intrusion prevention system. Now it is not immediately apparent in the user interface, which is kind of the same format as usual. But if we go into settings and if we go into their active protection and try to customize the file system shield, you will see that uh, there is a new section called suspicious behavior and in bracket they say it's hips. So basically what this module does is it's going to monitor the system for malware-like behavior and it's going to probably issue an alert in case of unauthorized modifications. Now how good this thing is I have no idea this is going to be my first uh, test of their intrusion prevention system and we have got several sensitivity levels and by default they've set it to level one now let's try going into level three and see if that immediately gives us a ton of alerts about Windows or Internet Explorer or something like that so far I don't see anything so I assume this is a very kind of uh, lenient intrusion prevention system so I would probably advise putting it on level 2 although I have no freaking idea how this product works and I'm giving out bad advice no never mind I was just kidding so based on what I'm seeing I'd probably put it at level 2 myself to start with but because this is a formal test I'll, I'll start with the default setting that they have given and we'll run a few files with this setting and then we'll try the next level and we'll see if that makes any difference I don't know if it's even going to issue an alert or if it's completely automatic in which case you won't even know it exists but I hope we'll see something exciting so we'll leave it as it is we'll mess with any of the components and I just want to show you that everything is up to date to update the program first. Resource usage continues to be pretty good, although the installer is now 150 megabytes. It used to be somewhere around 80 or 90, if I remember right, but it seems like this version is a lot bigger. But at the same time, I don't see any resource usage problem, so it's, it's perfectly fine. It's a really light program as it has been all these years. So, Instead of doing the usual link test first, I decided to, you know, just go ahead and do the file test with much more files. So what we're going to do in this test is we're going to test this product against 1000 pieces of fairly recent malware. Some of these are just a day old and some of these are zero day. So we have 1000 items that I've collected from various sources and we're going to see how one vast detection rate stacks up and two how their new zero day protection along with the intrusion prevention system works and I'm going to try out the different sensitivity levels and see how that affects the level of protection offered. So let's go ahead and do a right click scan Another nice thing in this version is when you start the user interface it gives you a brief overview of the product. I've already exited out of that but when you install it you see it and it tells you about turning on potentially unwanted program detection and things like that. So the users are more well advised about the settings of this program. So let's take a look at the results. I'm not going to fix anything automatically. I'm just going to delete everything and that should give us the detection ratio. Let's go ahead and pull up calculator and wait for Avast to finish. Okay, seems like stuck on one file. No, I guess it's done. Is it? Nope. Alright, let's try this again. 
Hmm. Don't think I can apply this. Nope. So it seems to be kind of stuck. Let me just close it out and do one more scan. That'll fix it. No thread found, so we're good to go. Let's see what we're left with, just one file. Ouch. That is not how I planned this. Seems like Avast has got a really outstanding detection ratio on these files. I don't know how that happened. I mean, <laughs> these files are fairly new. I'm really impressed that this is the only file that we're left with, so let's go ahead and run it. And I think Avast may have actually removed the thread from this file as well. So hey, looks like I need more samples. Well, since Avast managed a ridiculously high detection on my first malware sample pack or whatever, that's, you know, to be fair, it was 100%. So that, that it was really pleasantly surprising because I haven't seen that good detection from Avast in a long time. In fact, I've never seen it before. So this is the first time it's detected 100% of the samples that I've thrown at it. And not many products have, so I'm really happy with that. But for the purpose of this test, we do need to get some samples at least that are not detected by Avast. So I got ahead and got some more malware samples. And hopefully we'll have some left this time. So I'm going to go ahead there were 198 samples in total. Let's see how many we have left over. 95 items. So, well, I'm just gonna do this section of the test again just for, you know, you guys, because I didn't show the number of samples. Here we go, we have 198 files. By the way, the Avast scan is one of the fastest I've seen. And after removal, we are left with 95 items. So that is a detection ratio of... ...52%, which is really bad, but then again, um, this is... ...FTW malware for the win malware. I was pretty aware that this pack is going to give me a really low detection, which is why I got it, because we really need some files to test the zero-day protection with. So once again, I'll revise the settings. Um, I'll go into act active protection, file system shield. We are scanning for PUPs. Um, we have the heuristics at normal. We have intrusion prevention system turned all the way up, but I want it here, so uh, that was the way it was by default, and that's the way we're going to start the test. And later on, we'll change the level. So let's get started. This should be fun. Okay, this one's not going to run. Neither will this. Okay. So these are all being caught by EvoGen. That's why they're not running. So the first three were caught. Looks so like this one's caught too. So, woo, great. I mean, Avast is blocking a lot of these with EvoGen, that is something really nice. This is going to be analyzed by DeepScreen, which is kind of their sandbox. And in my experience, it's, it's not very effective, but let's see what it can do here. Don't mind that, that was just an email that I received. But EvoGen is catching threats, that's good to see. and. Deep screen is still analyzing. Let's try running a few more. I think all of these are going to be caught. But well, it looks like deep screen let this one through. So let's try this one. Once again, caught by Evo Gen. So that is impressive. So I didn't get any alert from the intrusion prevention system on the one that was missed by deep screen. Now this one's caught by EvoGen once again. 
have to say I'm really impressed. So far Avast has been doing a really good job. Lots of EvoGen detections. This is going to be analyzed by DeepScreen and it looks like something inside of that file was caught by EvoGen. Once again, deep screen analyzing. Stuff is getting removed. I'm not going to do a boot scan. Well, deep screen is letting these through, but then again, the malicious part of these files will probably removed by EvoGen, so okay, finally, deep screen did block something, so that's good to see. This one is caught by EvoGen. That seems to be the majority. So now what I'm going to do is I'll ramp up the intrusion prevention system sensitivity so that we'll see if we're asked for anything, but if DeepScreen and EvoGen manage to protect us from all of these threats, they're the first layer of protection, so if nothing gets through, there's no reason why we would get an intrusion prevention system alert, because unless there are any, you know, malicious modifications attempted, there is no reason to think that there would be an intrusion prevention alert. But let's go ahead and see if that happens, if we are able to get any piece of malware past deep screen and EvoGen. What's happening right now is most of these are just being blocked by EvoGen and even the ones that are being let through, they're being analyzed by deep screen and then while they're probably trying to extract their contents, they're being caught by EvoGen. This one's still being analyzed, so some hope for this guy. Let's see if he's able to make it through. Well, Deep Screen says this file is clean, and I've seen that happen on a lot of malicious files, which is why, as I said, I don't trust Deep Screen too much, but I have seen EvoGen to be very effective. I've found that out, and Let's see how the intrusion prevention components work, because we haven't seen those before. So far, I have, I'm not seeing anything from the intrusion prevention system, even though we're at max settings. I know hard mode completely changes the story again, but I'm not going to enable that over here. I've done a separate test with hard mode turned on, so if you want to know how it does on hard mode, you can check out that video. No, no, boot time scan, please. Let's go ahead and run the few remaining files. Once again, suspicious EvoGen detection. So far, I'm pretty happy with what I'm seeing. And keep in mind, this is the second malware pack, so, you know, if I was not really wanting to figure out how this product performs, I would have probably just called it 100% and given all the credits to Avast and given it all the points, but we're doing an in-depth test, and even then, I don't see anything that is really getting past or doing something to the system, even after running so many of these. So we're going to have one last layer of testing. We'll have uh, a few more samples. I'll try to grab any more load detection files that I can find. And he'll probably be very small. We'll probably just have five or 10 of those and we'll try running those and see if anything gets through. Because so far, I mean, apart from this one, I don't really see anything that might be running.
we have nine more samples so let's go ahead and give this a try and that'll be that I'm gonna delete everything it can find and then run these last three after enabling the shields of course I didn't get any alert for that one. So maybe we'll see the intrusion prevention. Okay, that's weird. Let's try running this. This one's being analyzed by deep screen. So deep screen caught that one. Now let's try running these two again. This one may not be working actually and not sure what's happening with this one. So what I'm going to do is I'll let the system run for a few more minutes and then you know the routine will reboot the system, run CCleaner and be back with the results of second opinion scanner. So that's when I give my final verdict. So stay tuned for that. After the restart, both our second opinion scanners, Malwarebytes and Hitman Pro report that the system is clean, which kind of means Avast has aced this test. And I can definitely recommend this product at this point. I mean, there's not much more to do tests with. I'm still a little bit disappointed that we weren't able to see the new intrusion prevention system but who knows I mean maybe it just doesn't pop up that often but whatever be the case the most important thing that the system should be protected was satisfied so I'll give this product uh, a clean sheet so I hope you enjoyed this review I'll be doing much more tests uh, or should I say much more testing with this product. I might even put it um, side by side with another product like AVG or Komodo again. So we may have a rematch of some of our old antivirus battles. So stay tuned for that, subscribe to the PC Security channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay informed, stay secure.